Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear members of the Horasis Vision community, I would like to thank you for taking part in the Horasis Global Meeting today. It was a long day and the summit is still going on. We convened 1,000 speakers over more than 180 sessions. Many senior leaders from government and business participated and proposed ideas on how to foster a shared humanity. And we discussed how to overcome the COVID pandemic and how to advance the recovery, envisioning and implementing novel business models, new political cooperation, and deep social cohesion. Let me share some observations, if I may, as we just listened to an enlightening closing plenary and a call for action. Ladies and gentlemen, convening a historic moment in which resentment of globalization is spoiling over worldwide, you delegates discuss means of restoring trust in the idea of sustainable globalization and to devise actual plans for ensuring that the fruits of globalization are more evenly distributed. Ladies and gentlemen, we require a new opus modus operandi that restores people's faith in the ideas of capitalism as well, in social capitalism, and one that makes good on those promises. As Rania al Mashad, Egypt's Minister of International Cooperation, said today, we need to unite global stakeholders to create innovative solutions in the face of COVID-induced turbulence. Ladies and gentlemen, multilateralism is the way to go. We have to unite. We have to join hands to tackle the challenges of the pandemic, climate change, and the division of society. I'm now inviting you to join the last two rounds of sessions. Thank you very much.